Oh, and Leland Vittert, host of On Balance, is here with us this morning. Uh, Leland, good morning, first of all. And then second, Bolton gave his first TV interview with you uh, to discuss this assassination plot. Does this change the game and how the Biden administration should approach Iran in, in general and then in, also in light of the fact that they're pursuing a nuclear deal? Well, John Bolton certainly thinks uh, it should change the game in terms of how the United States deals with Iran. Uh, the Biden administration did a full 180 on Iran compared to how President Trump uh, approached them and, and how President Trump approached them during John Bolton's time as national security advisor. Remember, it was President Trump who said, we're done with the Iran deal. You can't have a good deal with bad people. Uh, and now we are going to pursue much tougher sanctions against Iran and try to bring them to heel. Um, they, they didn't get quite get all the way there because uh, President Trump lost the election. The Biden administration came in and is now trying to revive the nuclear deal and has been giving Iran uh, concessions ever since uh, in an attempt to bring them back to the negotiating table and back uh, inside into the Iran nuclear deal. So uh, maybe the results speak for themselves. Let's listen for part of your interview right here. The Iranians have a long history of attacking Americans. And uh, look, I think it's long past the time when American policy ought to be that we favor uh, uh, that the overthrowing the regime in Tehran, because there will not be peace and stability in the Middle East as long as that regime is there. From your, from your conversation uh, with Mr. Bolton, how high a priority is Iran to the U.S. compared to, say, the war in Ukraine, where we've invested billions of dollars? It's hard not to link all of these things, right? You, you've got the new axis uh, of anti-American powers with China, uh, Iran, and Russia. Uh, so the Biden administration will tell you, oh, we're dealing with all of them. Uh, the question is, is how does America's dealing with all of them affect the other one? How does uh, not sending all the weapons Ukraine wants to Russia affect how uh, Iran views the United States support, say, of Israel and our other Gulf uh, allies? How does the United States uh, not coming to the aid of Taiwan in the way that we could have during the latest crisis affect how Iran, Iran views things? How does us being willing to negotiate with Iran while they continue to build a nuclear weapon affect how Xi Jinping and Vladimir Putin view the United States' resolve in stopping uh, somebody from doing something that we say we're not going to let them do. Uh, so it, it's not it's not either or, it's in addition to. Was there anything that John Bolton said that was surprising? I think what he didn't say is more surprising. He and I have known each other now for more than a decade, uh, both on and off camera. And his remarkable coolness uh, on this, you know, it's not every day that you uh, end up being on television to talk about your own assassination plot. Uh, the fact that he really didn't make it about him, uh, I think, spoke volumes for who he is and how what a pro he is and how he understands, uh, for lack of a better term, the game is played uh, on the international level. And the realization uh, by himself that, you know, he, while he's probably the most public person that Iran has tried to kill, uh, they have the blood of hundreds, if not thousands, of Americans on their hands. This was in retaliation. Uh, for the attempted assassination of Qasem Soleimani, or the assassination of uh, Qasem Soleimani, who was the head of the Iran Revolutionary Guard Force. He was a man who helped supply so many of the weapons that killed American service members in Iraq. Uh, obviously, Hezbollah uh, killed uh, hundreds of U.S. Marines at the Beirut uh, barracks back in the 1980s. So uh, I think there, there was a degree of humility that came with him that uh, somebody who knows him probably uh, wouldn't be surprised, but uh, as you watch the interview, that really struck me. Leland Vitter, thank you very much, and uh, great job on that interview. You can watch On Balance with Leland Vitter tonight and every weeknight. It starts at 7 Eastern, 6 Central Time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.